Hi everyone, I'm Tammy. Today I'm going to be showing you my simple makeup routine. If you are new here, please stick around and don't forget to subscribe. And for my returning viewers and subscribers, hey y'all, let's get right into it, shall we? I'm going to prime my face with this Maybelline primer first. I'm also needing to make sure that I'm looking in the mirror behind me so that I'm not all um, making a big mess. <laughs> Here we go. This primer feels really nice. It feels really, really nice. Soft. Um, I have like a dry, oily skin thing going, but you guys will see, it'll look different. And I also have a lot of hyperpigmentation, dark eyes, dark circle, but I use something from my dark circle, which actually has, I've seen some differences. It used to be darker than this. It's gone down a lot. I will share that on another video of the product that I use. So if you guys want to find out. I will uh, let me know down in the comment below. So now I'm going to apply my um, foundation using my foundation brush. I have to use a separate mirror so that I know what I'm doing here. Okay, I'm gonna just usually mainly put it in my problem areas first. I didn't say this before. I am not a makeup artist. I'm not a makeup artist at all. But I like the. I know what I like, and I know. How I want it to look, so I go ahead and uh, do do what works for me. Me, I don't like to put makeup on my lips. I don't know why. It just doesn't. I'm gonna look different, but with my dark lips. But it's okay. I'm fine with that. I like a nice, just a nice, good blend on my skin. I do. I don't really do contouring because I have hyperpigmentation here. That's why I apply it on my neck. Plus, I just want it to blend in. I use my beauty blender to pretty much blend my my every everything else afterwards. So I'm going to be trying that found um concealer now. This is the concealer. I hope this is the right shade because man, if it's not, I'm not gonna be happy. And we all gonna find this out, find out if it works out or not. Wow, this is too bright. No, this is too bright. Oh whoa. This is not my shade at all. Nah. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't think this is going to work. No, I think I'm going to just stop before I screw everything up and go on to my real concealer. This is Estee, Estee Lauder Double Wear Staying Place. I do not like concealers to be too bright. This is way too much for me. I'm not used to this kind of brightness. Let me see if it it a blending. Ay, ay, ay. No, I don't think so. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Oh, God, no. Mm -mm. This one is my go-to, so. It's a little expensive, but I like it. And I just do dots. Yeah, this is way better. Holy moly. And I can't return that one. Now I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender. The problem here is my beauty blender dried up. Oh, I have. You guys, I don't know if you've seen this in my old videos or my other videos. This is a good idea for anything. Ironing, spraying your clothes to iron with, spraying your plant if you have plant, spraying um, your um, beauty blender, spraying your hair to wet your hair. Y'all need to get it. It's called a stylist sprayer and it sprays very fine mist of water to whatever it is you want to um, wet. I really recommend it. Another thing that I do is that I I, uh, I put the concealer around, pretty much around my eyes as well as above my eye, my eyelid. 
to just sort of conceal everything. I had a hard time finding a good concealer. I used to use also another Maybelline concealer, but it's it was also too bright for me. For me, I don't know for my skin, but for me, I didn't like, I don't really want to be seen that I have concealer on. I just want to see that my dark circles ha are hidden and kind of well blend and also opening my eyes up. So that's one thing that I have always been worried about. This concealer was specifically, I went to Sephora and I asked the girl, I need a concealer that's not making me look extra bright i want it to look almost blending with my skin and she was nice enough to work with me that other one was too bright now i'm gonna work on my eyebrows i did get microblading in 2018 when i cut my hair in around February, I, I had microblading, but it didn't last mainly because I did not, I didn't go back for a second trial <laughs> because I had to pay again. I paid like 400 bucks for the first whatever and I had to go back again for uh, a, what you call a four months or four weeks after or six weeks after to get a redo. No, no, no. Nobody got time for that kind of spending. So, no. It lasted maybe the first um, treatment only lasted me up to maybe four months. I think I over I over colored this one. I don't know. So I use this to clean up my eyebrows and sort of give it a good uh, a good shape. It's as if I can't breathe when I do this. <laughs> Cause it's such a sensitive area and you're like drawing lines you don't want to mess up yeah pretty much done i just sort of brush it a little bit more just to give it a good you know a smooth look look all right moving on eyeshadow mascara light liner this color sorry as a base then i go to my mophie palette and then i put whatever color i want over it so what I do is I just sort of put it all over. You know what I forgot? I usually put a primer. I got this primer from e.l.f. But I don't see a, a big difference. Maybe I need to get a more expensive primer. But I haven't really had too much issue with my makeup with or without a primer. Maybe because I have small eyes. Which is one of the reasons why I don't wear eyelashes, my, uh, fake, you know, the extension eyelashes because it's so difficult to put it on my eyes and my the hair on my eyelashes, they're so curled. They're as curled as my hair, the hair on my head, very curly. So it's it's it gets so difficult trying to you know, get the eye the eyelash on my eyes. Moving on to my Murphy palette. Just for reference, I put this lip treatment on my lip. It's a um, Milani Keep It Smooth Lip Lux Treatment. It kind of softens your lips and just sort of keeps it moisturized before applying any of your favorite lip colors. This is the Mophie palette that I'm going to be using. And I, my favorite shade is this one right here. I use this with this mixed together. I don't know their names. They don't have names and I don't even know what this palette is for or called or whatever you know how they have all those names I don't know which one that is and then uh, the brush that I use is this brush it's also one of those Aliexpress brushes but it works for me I use one side and then the other side I put the other color so I start with this section I just pat it down I already have fallout naturally this on top I flip it over put the pink or whatever color it is on top there we go see I tap onto my this is kind of a lot ah too much on one side all right let's just balance it out a bit here we go I guess this is what they say about when you don't use eyeshadow primer but I still see it I guess if you if you if I close my eyes and open it the crease right here is what they most people don't like so I sort of try to have it blend so that's that part i still gotta clean up all of this just tap it on 
I know I already added, um, what do you call it, uh, concealer, but I would rather add foundation instead of concealer to cover up the fallout. I don't know if that's the right technique, but that's what I like to do. Now I'm gonna just go to my eyeliner. I don't know what else. I've tried so many different kinds, but this maybe two, three dollars worth and it's the best. I've tried expensive ones and I'm either allergic to something in them. I've been using this for over five years. Not this particular one, but this brand, this e.l.f. brand of eyeliner is my favorite. Is that good enough? Do you guys like that? So I look at both and see if they match and usually they do. All right, now I'm gonna use this Beauty Blender. To me, it gives like a nice finish and also sort of blends everything in. I do not do all those contouring. It's just my own personal preference. I don't really see the need for my own facial structure. But one of the last things to do is my mascara, and my lips, and then all over the face, that's it. And this is for simple makeup routine anyway. That's my lip with the liner alone. And then I'm gonna add this. I hope this is the right feel color for me. Oh Lord, this is a bright color. Yeah, my big lips. What do you guys think? Hmm? This is a good, good color. I think it's, it's a good color. Kind of gives a natural look. It was very bright, but when I started tapping on it, it reduced the, sh the, the brightness and also blended in a little. Do you guys see a difference? I think I do. I hope you guys like this video. If you do, like it, subscribe to my channel, and share it because this keeps me going. I like doing what I do. I like it a lot. cannot believe a year ago I was bald and today I got a bun my tiny little bun a bun is a bun doesn't matter so what do you guys think I hope you like my video please like subscribe and share to your friends and family and I will see you on my next video